Okay, my car just stopped again because it started smelling like something was burning. I'm. Ah! Let's go rescue Danielle. I just pulled out a tooth. You just pulled out your second tooth? Are you serious right now? Let's see. So we are all gonna get tested tomorrow. We could be carrying coronavirus uh, without even knowing it. It seems like today just kept spiraling out of control. Kenyon got up this morning. I went in there, checked on him last night when we got home, and um, he had toilet paper in his nose, which means his nose is running. But this morning he's feeling warm, so we gotta take his temperature and see what this is all about. Sarah's not feeling well. Sarah's thinking she has a bladder infection, or sorry, kidney infection. And so I'm just trying to find the, the uh, thermometer. I'm not sure where it's at. Okay, so we have a, an issue here. Like there's been some weird sicknesses in our house over the last few days. And we've been kind of thinking that the coronavirus, because of the way it was originally, is not at our house. But now that we look at the Delta variant, is that what it's called? And some of the symptoms of it, it's like, no, everybody's different. So we've had some weird stuff around here, so we're like, crap. So we're gonna get Gigo to see if his taste and smell is Can still you there. smell? Yeah. Can you taste? I don't know. Let's go. I got, me and Daddy bought a whole bunch of M&Ms last night. And so, come taste it to see if you taste it. Yeah. I can still taste. You can still taste? It tastes like peanut butter? Chew it up. It's getting vaccinated, actually. It's getting into it. Or is it getting hot? You're not getting vaccinated. You're just getting tested. Tested? Yeah. It's not a shot. Got it? Yep. Are you ready for this? I don't want to do the spitting one. I know, but what if the spitting one doesn't come back soon enough? We are driving around the parking lots where the phone said to go and we cannot see anywhere that we can do testing. It says online that it's open for another half an hour and there's nothing. Do you think they just... I think that's old information. Well... I think that's information for when they were doing the first round of testing. So what should we do, Geek? Let's go home and eat. I'm done. So I have to do a nose one tomorrow, I guess, to... Does that go all the way back in, or do they do something different now? I don't know. All it says is the nasal swab is an hour result, and the spit test is 24 to 48 hours. How are you feeling, buddy? Wait. I you just have, you pulled have blood out... on your face? I just pulled out a tooth. You just pulled out your second tooth? Are you serious right now? Let's see. Did you show Allie? No. You did it? So why'd you do that? Were you just was it was it you were just picking at it as you were? I just twisted it. Wow! Show me. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Good job. Mm -hmm. That's what happens next. I get my I get my eagle. What eagle? What are you talking about? It's a stuffed animal eagle. That's in Disney World, or I mean, uh, Hogle Zoo. Yeah. I know, but Allie sent it to the tooth. Oh, she did? did it for me. Okay, well, we'll have to see what happens, huh? Whew, I, where do I start? So, Danielle's not going to come home tonight. She's gonna need you to take her clothes. She's gonna go stay at rule number one. And she's doing the right thing, I think, because we don't know. We're gonna have Gigo tested. In fact, I'm gonna get tested and Sarah's gonna get tested too, because we could carry it. We could be carrying coronavirus, the COVID, uh, without even knowing it, whether we have symptoms or not. So, yep, Allie's probably gonna get tested, and so we are all gonna get tested tomorrow. We have an appointment to go get tested, and so, um, anyway, um, so Danielle's not staying here tonight. She's worried about that. We have a big weekend coming up, huge weekend actually, and um, if we have, if we're carrying this virus, we can't go do the things that we need to do. Um, so. Anyway. Kenyon says he wants to get the nose COVID test. I know, the nostril. Okay, where is Giga? Kenyon, where are you? Come here, stay here. She's almost here. Mommy will be here in just a minute. In instead of just telling Mommy about it, I think we should do something fun for her, don't you think? So Allie's gonna get an envelope. 
You're going to put it in the envelope and say, hey, mommy, I have something for you. And then try not to show your tooth. Can you do that? Okay, come on, dude. Let's go. Here we go. Ready? Put it right in the middle. Here she comes. She's coming. What is going on here? She has something for you. It's a present. A present? Yeah, mm -hmm. open it up. Immediately. Your tooth. Go slow. Let it go slower. Or Got faster. Ruin slower. it. <gasps> it is your tooth! Let's see! Let's see. What? Did you pull that out yourself? Yep. How? Tell me all about it. So I was, I just twist it. When you were watching or what? When I was watching. What? It was just me. That's all by awesome. Himself. That oh is God. awesome, Gigo. Mm -hmm. Good job. Hey, Bob. You're welcome. Okay, have fun. Okay. Having the house to yourself. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. There's a big issue here. Big issue. Okay, my car's being really weird. Um, it needs a break. I had to pull off to the side of the road to restart my car again. It is struggling. It is struggling. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think it's the heat. And we just barely, like just barely, replaced the oil and stuff like that. And it says it needs new oil. Hello. Hi, so. Did what start? Okay, my car is not liking me today. I've had to stop twice to restart it because it'll just shut off. When I slow down, the Yes, I do hear it. Yeah. Okay, my car just stopped again. I was able to get it start to start last time. My dad said it's probably just overheated. I'll tell you what. A hundred degree weather is not good for cars. Apparently, especially not for this one. I am literally a couple streets away from where I need to be. Like, I'm right there. But it's not starting. The car is not starting and I need to pee so bad. I'm getting so frustrated right now. I had to stop trying and turn my car completely off because it started smelling like something was burning. I'm, ah! my phone's gonna overheat now too. Are you kidding me? Today has not been a good day for me guys. I'm... Okay, so it broke out again. We'll be there in a minute. Okay. All right. What's going on? Okay, let's go rescue Danielle. your temperature like? Driving? I don't know. You blew the motor. <sighs> How? It's completely blown. Sweet. You overheated the motor. How did you do that? You see that temperature gauge right there? Yeah. That can't. You, you can't should always be watching there. that. Okay. It's too late now. It's yeah. blown. Motor's blown. This thing's toast. Says the motor's hot. Look at this. No pressure. What does that mean? I have no clue. Usually, if the motor's hot, we would be Killing it. blasted with something, or that oil would be gone. But it's not doing anything. It literally is like not trying to fire. It's just cranking. Keep going. Did you get everything out of there? Yeah, everything out. You need. Did you lock it? Okay, love you. Right, love you. Be careful. Okay, bye. Bye. What? Any words? Any last words? I don't know. I'm just perplexed. It's not acting normal, but it's also not acting. I don't know. We'll get it figured out. We gotta let it get down to a normal temperature. It's done. 
also due to the fact that I currently don't have a car to drive around, I decided I'm gonna door dash food, which I really don't want to, but it's fine. I'll do it anyway, because I don't have a way to drive around. So, yay! <laughs> It came, I don't know why I got so excited, but my food came. <laughs> Not like I didn't think it was gonna come, but this is like the best part of today. Uh, best part of today is getting food. <laughs> anyway, whoever made these breadsticks, I am in love with them. Do you see? Look at the amount of Parmesan cheese they put in there. Do you see that? The reason why I'm at rule number one tonight rather than at home, is because when my, when my mom texted me this morning and told me that there's a possible chance that they have COVID, I was like, okay, I haven't been around them a ton. If there's a possible chance they have COVID and there's the small chance that I don't, I don't want to risk getting COVID because I have so much going on within the next two weeks. If I so much, I have the last biggest test on the 20th and final phase on the 16th and 17th. And that's basically just information about graduation, what you need to know and what you need to get ready for and the kit you need to get for the test. And I just can't miss more hours, like I need to graduate. And so, cause I'm to that point of school to where I just can't, I just need to graduate. But yeah, tomorrow after the test, if it comes up negative, then I'll just go back home. I'll just have a little night by myself and then I'll just go back home. And if they do come out, positive. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, that's information on that. So that's just why I'm chilling in this house by myself. What is that? For, I think it's because I'm blind, but that plant looked weird. Super paranoid because I'm in this house by myself and the people next door were having a party. And so it sounded like people were coming, like jumping around in our backyard. And then I had the washer and dryer on because I was putting my clothes for tomorrow in. And so I was like, <gasps> there was a noise. And yeah. And when you're a YouTuber, you're just super paranoid about your older brother who knows the password to this place coming and pranking you. Okay, I just marked both my parents about this, but I had to grab the camera really fast. I was <laughs> I was walking around the house making sure everything was closed with my pepper spray because I'm paranoid and the washer and dryer was running and so it scared me. This, is ha this happened earlier. And I walk into this room, turn on the light, and this is the first thing I see. Okay, ready for this? Ready for this? Not the planes on the wall! This is the first thing I see. I don't think simply saying I almost had a heart attack would quite cover that situation and what I felt there. But I just wanted to talk about that. <laughs> well, today didn't exactly turn out as we had planned. It seems like today just kept spiraling out of control. But it's okay. You roll with the punches, you be grumpy sometimes, you get over it. It's all about looking at what your expectation is what the reality is and yeah, your perspective. The expectation, reality, and what you can control and can't control and what you choose from there. So it's all about choice. Everything is our choice. We're not a victim to any of this. We're not a victim to being exposed to COVID. We're not a victim to Danielle's motor blowing on her car. We're not a victim to my kidney infection. We're not a victim to Allie not working at Disneyland yet. It's all about the choice of what we do with the information and how we move forward. Move forward, be positive. We love you guys. And as always, you are worth it. <laughs> Bye guys.